Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Super Mod. I'm your host, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. We are rolling right along in our tour schedule, and tonight we are booked for the International Amphitheater in Chicago, Illinois. So let's go ahead and make that happen here on the screen. There we go, 9,000 strong. We're going to select that venue, and we are booked. Now, let's take a look at our backstage incidents. Art Washington, what did you do? Oh, he's just a nice guy. Wolfman Jr., what's up with him? Look at this. Wolfman Jr. is even cooking for everybody. Man, what a decent guy. Uh-oh, Duncan got himself in some trouble with Bachwinkle here. Now he's buying all the drinks. All right, the rest is all protege work. Nothing to worry about here, so that's a good thing. Just looking at Ricky Rice and uh, Derek Dukes there, I was catching out some uh, catching some footage. What did Sheiky do? Oh, Sheiky's willing to put over Kevin Kelly, and I saw that there was a, uh, a promotion in Canada for decades called the West Four Wrestling Alliance. They were actually part of the NWA at one point. And uh, Derek Deuce, Dukes and Ricky Rice got their start there. And it was cool seeing some of their uh, their early footage, not to mention the commentators for the shows I watched, uh, which was August 1986, was Mick Karch and George Shire. And those two were actually really good together. And they still are together on the AWA, excuse me, AWA Unleashed podcast, which you can check out. I've spoken about it before. I really enjoy it. And here we are, folks. We are ready to roll. Let's take a look at our card for tonight. And in our opener, Candy Divine is going to face Wendy Richter. The Nasty Boys are going to battle the Top Guns. The Terrorist is going to face Scott Steiner. Steve Olsonowski will face the returning Kevin Kelly, who is managed by Sherry Martell. Doug Summers is going to challenge Greg Gagne for the world television title. Bobby Duncan is going to battle Nick Bockwinkle. Bad Company will face the Guerrero Brothers in the semi-main. And in our main event, Larry Zabisco will face Jerry the King Lawler. Let's get to booking. All right, Divine and Wick Vic Richter, 10 minutes here. I'm having a hard time talking today. I apologize. I have spent the last two days researching and copying and pasting and creating and deleting and redoing again all the titles and wrestlers and information for a couple added promotions for version 8 and it has been a labor of love but you can rest assured that it is now done and oh what did I do there and uh Wendy Richter won the last one here so Candy Divine goes over it is a labor of love, and I enjoy every minute of it. It's fun. Version 8 is really something else here, folks. If you thought 7 and 6 were good, you just wait until version 8. All right, the Nasty Boys and the Top Guns here. 12 minutes. Both teams are in the system here, in the program, as I like to say. There's the Nasties. There's the Top Guns. And I think the top guns go over this time. And they do. We can auto name it. And we're going to have John Paul get the win for his side. Next, we have the terrorist and Scott Steiner. They're going 12. Doesn't matter who's supposed to win because Scott Steiner's getting the win. <laughs> And that's just the way it's going to be. Terrorists will be lucky if he ever wins a match, frankly. Maybe some spot show work, but on the tour dates like this, uh-uh, in the words of Gordon Soley. All right, there is Scott Steiner. Scotty gets the win here. Rolling up next, Olsonowski and Kevin Kelly, and it's a new match. And let's see, let's spend a second here and figure this one out. Greg Gagne, well, 
Who's due? It'll all depend on if Greg Gagne is due to win or not. Okay, Doug Summers is due to win. We got to put, uh, we have no choice. We got to put Kevin Kelly over. He's fresh back here. Not going to have him lose his first match back. <laughs> that settles that, huh? All right, there's Steve Olsonowski. And there is Kevin Kelly. Kevin Kelly gets the win here. Is that a 14 minute bout? It is. All right, next we have Doug Summers and Greg Gagne. Doug Summers is going to win here by count out. These two had a really good match the last time. It's a nice pairing. Tell me, this world television title might end up meaning something here. All right, Summers gets the win. And of course, it is by count out. Put Hennig in there as the road agent. All right. And next, we have Bobby Duncan and Nick Bockwinkle. That one goes 16. I think Bobby Duncan's due for the win here. Yep. No. Nick Bockwinkle gets the win here. Beautiful. All right, here's our big tag match. We're trying to get bad company over here. We have to. We got to start getting some other some other teams hot. Um, so let's see how this works out. We saw the first time the score wasn't the end of the world. But it wasn't as great as it could be either. If we got to make an adjustment, we'll make an adjustment. But, you know, it is what it is here. Okay, so we are going to put Bad Company over here. We're going to have Pat Tanaka get the win. And it's going to be a tainted when he's going to cheat to win, of course. Ah, see, that's... That's what's going to hurt us here. That's what we can't have. We're trying to use these guys. They're so good. We're trying to use them to help us get them over. All right. Uh, we got to adjust this because we don't want to piss off the Guerreros. Let's just leave it open and see what happens. I was hoping we weren't going to have to deal with that, but what are we going to do? All right. In our main event, we're going to have it go 30 here. We have Zabisco versus Lawler. Nice main event. The first one got us a really good score. So this one's going to be no different. There we go. Let's take a look. I want to double check who won the last time. Zabisco won the last time. So Lawler goes over this time. And it's an epic. Bam. Very nice card. I, I'm telling you, I'm liking our combinations here of our three sets of touring dates here. All right. Divine gets the win as planned. 55 overall. Nice score for an opening ladies match. Look at this. The nasties, the top guns. Get a 61 here again. Get a score in the 60s. Nice. Coming right along. Scotty Steiner beats the shit out of the terrorist. <laughs> With that Northern Lights suplex hold. And Kevin Kelly beats Olsonowski with the sleeper. Very nice. 69 overall. Summers and Ganya score an 81. Nice score again. I think we're going to switch them with time. With Bachwinkle and Duncan. Bachwinkle and Duncan with a 70. 84, 80 in Chicago. We get a 78. That declining physical ability can't take off that much. Come on. Come on. What are we doing, TEW? 
76 overall for Bad Company and the Guerrero Brothers. And got to figure that one out. We got to get Bad Company some better numbers. This one pisses me off now. 91 and 87. 91, 87. Bonus City. Zero takeaways. And we get an 84. What the hell? T-E-W. All right, we're finishing up 82 overall. We still get an increase in popularity. And we are pointing out Larry Zabisco that put on one hell of a match. We are pointing out Bobby Duncan that put on one hell of a match. And we are pointing out Doug Summers, who may be a scumbag in real life, but he could wrestle. All right, great performance. Good example. And we're going to tell... Doug Summers that he's awesome. Zabisco's pleased, Duncan's pleased, and Summers is pleased. All right, this puts us up to Sunday. We're traveling over to Des Moines, Iowa, where we will have our last card in the tour set here with the Midnight and Midnight main event. And look at that. We get to have the debut of White Panther Jr., <laughs> also known as Jerry Lynn. I'm sorry. I don't care if anybody doesn't like that name. That name is awesome, White Panther Jr. And personally, I kind of think I'm a genius for inventing it. Just my opinion, of course. All right, let's go ahead and see what our numbers are. 1.8 million viewers for Championship Wrestling on ESPN. Remember, we got that big TSN contract also helping us out there. Major League Wrestling scores 574,000. That's very good. Eddie Guerrero's working the show in Pacific Northwest. Kevin Kelly is back with us. And we got 912,000 viewers for All-Star Wrestling. Everybody, we are cooking with oil. The AWA is doing great. I'm just concerned, very concerned about what's going to happen in May here when, uh, <laughs> when we could potentially lose all our stars. Ooh, Hector gives us some attitude about doing the J-O-B. And now he wants higher money, too. Look at that. All right. We're signing some enhancement talents here. That's a lot of them. That's going to be a lot of work to do. I will do that off screen. But what I will do here is we are going to offer Chavo and Hector some exclusive contracts here. And uh, one-year deals. Because if we lose... The wrestlers, I think we're going to lose. Um, we'll at least be able to hold on to these guys, and we know that they can carry the tag team division if they have to. Plus, they're unbelievable singles wrestlers on top of it. So let's try that at least. Um, getting them, keeping them for a year. Because I'm afraid of what's going to happen, as we know. Um, all right, I think that's going to do it for us here, folks, for this episode. Thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, go to braddrake.net, drop me a line, and I'll be more than happy to send you over the link to not only the database, but also the picture pack. You can download and play, everybody. Also, if you don't know about it, go to facebook.com slash group slash 1987 supermod and join us in conversation about the supermod. There's quite a few of us on there. We share our saves, and overall, we get along and have a good time talking about old school wrestling. And last but not least, please hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and share this video with your friends. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.